screaming for my brother and my best friend that had died while I was in the couch. And it was a mess. It was a nightmare, <laughs> a living nightmare. And I put my my uh, arms on my computer and put my head on my arms and I fell asleep. I didn't remember the plane taking off or anything. Just um, a lady, nice lady, that uh, woke me up when I when we got to the destination. When I got home to destination, she wakes me up on the plane. She says, "We're here. We've landed. Are you okay? You look really dehydrated. Would you like some water? Let me get you some." I said, "Oh, they're all done. You're not passing out." She says, "No." Yeah, let me put everything away. You, you missed everything. And she, she looked at my cracked lips and my dry skin. And, and my, she, uh, she was uh, an educated woman. So I didn't have to. I could barely speak. And my voice was, uh, was almost gone um, and very raspy. And uh, it was a good thing. She was very educated. And I didn't have to speak. It was like, like I was on a desert ground and just laying there dying and waiting on you know, somebody to come and rescue you. It really felt like kind of like that, except that I was on an airplane. She looks, she takes one look at me and she said, oh, you're really dehydrated. I'm going to get you something. And she gets up and she, and I, and I kind of open my eyes a little and I see her. She's asking the, the, the stewardess for, for water and something to hydrate me. And she's telling them how I, I really need it bad. And I didn't even tell her anything. I didn't have a chance to say anything. She was like an angel, just like an earth angel. I forgot her name. I wish I I was not in a good state of mind. I'm gonna look at my email. She took a picture of me on the plane and she and she sent it to my email. She was very wonderful. And she asked me a couple little questions. And uh, she had something in her bag. I can't really can't remember it all, but it's kind of vague because I was just really out of it. But I do remember that she was very kind and it, she was very educated. Most of all, she was educated and that part is really important. It's really important because I couldn't speak and I didn't need to speak. I didn't need to explain it. I didn't need to, to, to uh, say the ABCs. She knew exactly what I needed and I didn't have to tell her. She was already educated to spot and see. She saw my dry skin and my, my lips and my, she saw, she knew. She saw the black circles under my eyes that told her I was almost dead. She was very, very caring. And God, I hope you give her everything she needs, God. She was wonderful, and I know she's a wonderful school teacher. I remember she told me she's a school teacher. I'm gonna I'm not gonna cry right now. It's just so hard. It's just so hard, but taking it just like she was so wonderful inside of all that darkness. And um that helped me live too. You know, just having someone sitting next to me like that while I was recovering in the air on that flight. So peaceful, like she was just so, so sweet. Like, like I had just gave up on humanity of feeling anything. She was so, so sweet, not with any purpose or anything to gain from it being nice to me. She had nothing to gain or nobody to prove anything to or convince. She didn't know anybody I know. She, had, she was all real, 100%. She didn't have any insults that you call love. She didn't have any of those. She can even get those from strangers that will insult you and then laugh and say, oh, she's joking. <laughs> People are so used to abuse, you know, now people are so used to competition and call it love. <laughs> That's not love. No, it's not. Just picking off brainwash to the leaves. <laughs> it's so sad. 
she had elbow qualities. She was just so nice to me with no purpose and nothing to gain. No judgment, nothing. You say, well, why did you get yourself in that situation? Why did you? None of those words came out of her mouth. Just a real deal. And there's not many people like that on this planet. I'm so sorry to say that. Okay, let's stop right now. And I hope you're listening to this because I remember you did subscribe to my channel. I'm going to look at my email before I finish this short film. And I am going to put your name on this short film, this teacher, Angel. There's very few people. Most people are just doing nice things to impress someone that they know. And they always have an evil plot. Like, for instance, 